Welcome Capricorns. I'm back y'all with another banging ass video. Yes, yes, yes. This is your girl, the Empress. Happy to be here with you all. Mm. Happy to be here with all of you. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are new to the community, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are considering clicking that subscribe button, don't forget to click the bell as well so you can get the notifications, okay? So let's talk Capricorns. It looks like something is on hold. I just seen the hangman just wanted to reveal itself. Okay. So there could definitely be like some type of delays. Things just kind of like lingering in the air. Or something could possibly be on hold. Or you feel like things are on hold. All right, so let's see what messages we get. This isn't going to be a general read. So if you have Pisces, I'm sorry, if you have, some of y'all could be dealing with the Pisces. I was just getting ready to say Pisces. <laughs> if you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, you can utilize this video. All right, so let's see. Okay. This is going to be for the remainder of December 22nd through the 31st. Please give me a message for my Capricorns, please. All right. Um, at the bottom of the deck... We got the page of pentacles. Okay, so this is communication. This could be communication about money, um, school. I'm seeing work here as well with the eight of pentacles here. So let's see what we got. I got the three of wands. I got the chariot, hermit. Okay, so you're waiting to see where something is going to go. Okay, there may be something new that you that you're starting. Could be something in love, um, but you're kind of like waiting to see where something is going to go. You're waiting to see like what your next move is going to be. It looks like whatever it is is. It looks like you're getting some type of success in it. Um, but I'm getting like you're being very patient, like you're waiting patiently for something to move forward or some forward movement or some type of progress. Okay, yeah. And I'm getting a final decision being made as well, too. So, Hermit. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra or a Taurus, I got the empress some of you guys may um be trying to find yourself or find um some of y'all are taking care of yourself like self-love self-care okay or need to you're waiting for communication to come in from someone okay could be a cancer or you're waiting for somebody to say that uh to say that they're single okay yeah, I'm getting like you're tired of putting in effort or you're tired of being the, the first one to reach out. Um, so, uh, I'm just getting like you're waiting for some, some, some type of call or text from someone here, like to see where something is going to go. Um, well, has a seven of pentacles here. Yeah, I'm getting like you're being very patient. Like, you're just waiting to see where something is going to go. I feel like you eventually get tired of of, of, um, 
of trying to or being the first one to reach out. So, okay, yeah, see, you're waiting to see where if things are coming back together. Could be with friends or a social, a social circle. I feel like you're looking for some attention. Yeah, see, we got the Six of Wands and the Star card. Like, you're... Tr you're um, looking for, like, your passion. A lot of you are looking for your passion or finding your passion, finding your gift, finding what's special about you, okay? And I feel like you're getting ready to walk into that if you already haven't. Six of Wands and a Star is like celebrity status. Why is a Star card here? Yeah, see, some of you have multiple gifts. Some of you got different gifts and talents, okay? But I'm getting, like, a lot of attention is getting ready to come your way. Um, for sure, for sure. I'm getting how others are viewing you, Capricorn. I'm getting, like, and I'm going to be honest... I got the Ace of Wands and the Devil and the Two of Cups. Someone, people here are looking at things as just like a beneficial relationship or a bond or connection. Um, I'm even getting like a sexual connection as well. So others could just see you like, I, I mean, I really don't want to say it, but like a booty call or, or a fling or something like that. So, um... Why is the Ace of Swords here? I'm getting like some of y'all are making statuses, okay? Making statuses possibly like on social media to keep yourself popping. <laughs> I feel like you want to keep yourself popping and keep yourself popular because I am getting like you guys are uh, going, getting ready to go into a phase of where you're getting a lot of attention, okay? Now, judgment as the outcome, we got the moon. Okay, um, let's see where this is going to go. I'm getting like you're realizing uh, your strengths, like your, your good points, what's unique about you. And I do, I feel like you guys are doing some soul searching and some, some growing, doing some deep healing. You may have to leave some people behind to get to this new level. I feel like maybe you feel stuck. You think about your finances a lot. Um, yeah, I'm getting like you guys are now looking for like, um, like you guys are trying to, y'all trying to pop y'all shit. <laughs> y'all are popping y'all shit. It is what it is. I'm going to call it like I see it. Yeah, it's like you're waiting for some type of recognition or some type of some some type of chime in from some people. Um, it's like you're you're waiting for somebody to give you the okay or waiting for somebody to give you the. I'm, I'm getting like you you were waiting for some type of validation, and I want to know why because. I do see you guys like fit, like going on some type of self discovery um, of self, like some type of self discovery, and but I'm getting like you guys are looking for validation um, from a group of people, like that you're on the right path or doing the right thing. Um, you got, you're getting ready to walk into a, a lot of different uh, people coming at you or people agreeing with you. Um, I'm getting like celebrity status, like really. The Six of Wands and the Star is definitely celebrity energy. I don't know if I'm tapping into some type of celebrity energy or what, but I'm getting like a lot of attention um, is coming towards you.
Like you may be about to realize some things about yourself that you never knew. Like I said, some of y'all are going definitely going on some type of healing, self journey, some type of spiritual journey, awakening, um, and you're getting ready to walk into a lot of attention, like a success. Okay, so let's see what we get here. What's coming ahead for my Capricorns? Yeah, see, we got great fortune. Okay, so money is getting ready to look good or we got change. Some of you may have a change in your income because I feel like for some of you, there's a concern here. Could possibly be like with family about money. Okay, so some of y'all could have a change in your finances. Okay, a gift. <laughs> we got a gift here. Somebody here is definitely a false person. There's a false person here who's disguising something as a gift or disguising that they're doing you a favor or some sort. Why is gift here? Uh, mature, no, main male and main female here. Okay, so there's definitely like some type of concern here. There's definitely some type of concern. I'm feeling like as well too, some, some of you may be concerned that you missed out on a privileged or someone is uh, concerned about missing out on you being a privilege, like you being a privilege to someone or vice versa. There's a concern here. Okay, why is change here? Yes, there you, you may feel like you need to make some changes. There's some changes, some things that you need to work on. Why is great fortune here? Yes, yeah, see, your, your focus is possibly on your money. Some of you are uh, trying to start businesses or have already started businesses, but I'm getting like a, a um, self-discovery journey, okay? You may be distancing yourself or have distanced yourself from people to focus on your money, okay? We got mature woman here, unexpected income. A mother or grandmother here could give you some unexpected money, help you out financially here. Let's see what other messages we have in love, okay? So, we're going to see how you feel about a partner and how a partner feels about you. And this is in regards to love, all right? So, how does uh, Capricorn feel about their love? Give your relationship a chance and getting to know each other. Okay, so this is somebody from your past that you're thinking about that you want to reconcile, reconcile with. You want to come back together with this person, but there is something here that's unrequited about the situation, okay? There's something unrequited. There's just not enough balance or chemistry. Um, it's like it's, it gets to going and then maybe um, it's short-lived. Uh, but I feel like you want to give a relationship a chance. You want to work on a partnership. You're trying to get to know someone here. And this is someone who you've been separated from. Okay, or some of you are going through a separation. There's a lot of playfulness energy here. And there's some healing that needs to be done here as well, too. Um, Capricorn, just make sure that you're keeping an open mind um, in this situation. Because your soulmate may differ from what you're used to. Okay, this person may differ from what you are used to. Okay, so let's see how they view you. Make the effort. Heart to heart conversation and uh attraction okay so i'm getting like someone here is making some type of effort to conversate or have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and the attraction is still there like this person is still attracted to you um they also feel as if the situation is unrequited as well too but the love is genuine and true like this person really does care for you and really love you but there is some things that need to be worked on Okay, however, I do feel like they're staying optimistic about love in general, but I don't, I, I want to keep this in mind too. See, we have new love and codependency. Um, they're open to new love coming in, okay? There is a codependency issue. Someone here could have like addictions or is very codependent sexually, okay? 
We got codependency and we also have passion. And that could be the chemistry that's binding you two together. Okay. Are there any other messages for how Capricorn feels about that person? Love yourself first and call me your soulmate. I feel like you want to express yourself. Um, I feel like you will very soon, but you may possibly um, feel like you're not sure if you can trust this person. So, I feel like you want to give this give a situation a chance, but at the same time, you don't trust this person. Your person over here is making effort to have a, a specific conversation with you. Um, and like I said, they're very attracted to you, but they do notice that the situation, something here isn't right, um, and the situation is unrequited. Now, even though they still do, we got true love here. There is love. All right, so let's see what action, let's see what other messages we got. Let's see what action you should take. We got there's something better. Okay, look for a sign because there's definitely something better. Okay, we got improving health. Listen to your intuition about something here. Some something you're not listening to your intuition about that's going to help improve your health or your well being. Okay. Um, We got recovery. Yeah, see, if someone here is ill or isn't feeling well or something like that to that nature, I'm getting that uh, there's some type of recovery or improvement. And then we got no here. Okay. We got let go here at the bottom. And we also have perfect timing. Okay. So let's see. I want to get a few clarifiers. Okay. I'm getting... That you need to um, see. I'm getting. I keep getting celebrity status. We got the star and the six of wands again, and the ace of wands, the queen of wands. There's a new action or a new route that you need to take. Um, I'm getting like a lot of you are about to bust out and shock the whole world. <laughs> I'm getting like y'all are about to. I'm just getting like y'all about to pop out. Pop out. Okay. We got improving health. Yeah, the justice. Okay, so some of you are getting ready to start feeling better. Um, I feel like your finances are also getting ready to increase. Recovery. Yeah, see, some of you are in your head too much. Um, some of you get headaches frequently. Why is no here? Four of Wands, the Six of Swords, Three of Cups. I'm getting. If you're following a trend, you have to you have to stand out. Okay, I'm getting like you could possibly getting be getting ready to follow into some type of trend. Um, the Six of Swords and the Three of Cups makes me feel like there's a following train, like a a follower, like you're possibly following the crowd. Okay, trying to fit in. Um, make sure you're taking advice from from the right people, um, because I I feel like someone here could possibly be be trying to be an influence to you, and I feel like it's maybe someone that you look up to that may be older than you here. Yeah, see, you guys are going to have to get real creative and pop out. Go ahead and pop out. But this is the thing. When you when you pop out, you guys have to make sure that you aren't doing it just because someone else is doing it. 
And not saying that you can't do the same thing that other people are doing, but just make sure you're putting your own sauce on it. Make sure that you're putting your own, you're stirring your own ingredients in, putting your own everything into it. Um, and don't, don't be a follower, okay? You don't have to blend to fit in and do all of that. No, you, you can step outside of your comfort zone, step outside of the box, okay? All right, so that's the message that I have for my Capricorns. If this message was helpful, guys, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe with your family and your friends, okay? If you're interested in booking or reading, all of that information is in the drop box below as well. If you would like to check out the website, there is quite, there's a, few, a handful of things still left over there. Um, and a lot of things did get sold out over the past weekend. I'm restocking this week. Okay, so all of that information is in the drop box below, guys. And I'm going to chat with you later. Until next time, ciao.